Hey everybody, Taz from Critical Thinking Anarchist here. Uh, unfortunately, my Quantum Leap episode is going to be delayed. I have to re-record it again. I tried uploading it and YouTube uh, was not happy. Actually, NBC copyright struck the windowed portion of it uh, for about 20 minutes, so I gotta re-record it, do stills. I'm not entirely sure. I'll, I'll think about it and get back to it. But in the meantime, um, I saw this thing from Linus Tech Tips from a year ago. It was a tweet from Linus Tech Tips, and Lewis Rossman commented on it. And again, this is all a year ago. Um, but Linus was saying that Adblock, using Adblock while watching YouTube videos is akin to piracy. It's akin to theft. <clears throat> and I got to say, that is one, verifiably false, and two, straight up ridiculous. And granted, I think that's that type of thinking is kind of what's going on with YouTube right now, as I got hit this morning with the uh, with the YouTube watching videos limiter. Um, I cleared my cache, no problem, no big deal, and something I can watch videos again. But uh, it hit me with the, hey, you've watched three videos without uh, with ad block, and now we're going to prevent you from watching all videos ever again. Thankfully, it's just cookies. So I got rid of that. Anyway, uh, so the point being of all this is that, uh, yeah, Linus said this a year ago, and people put way too much in people like him. I've there, there were a couple times that I was kind of a fan of what he was doing. Um, and then I really fell out with him. I, I like a lot of the things he said just didn't add up tech wise. I'm sitting there going, you're supposed to be this big tech expert and everything you're doing seems either over the top, like way more than you ever really need to do unless you are super into this professionally or just outright stupid. And this is definitely one of those just outright stupid things. So he's saying that um, Adblock is is theft. Adblock is piracy. He's like, well, you know, you can do whatever you want, but Adblock is is straight up theft. And he defended it multiple times. Adblock is not theft. Ads, you, you don't get paid by the ads. You know, YouTubers don't get paid by the ads. They get paid from YouTube. YouTube gets paid by the ads. Now, YouTube can put ads on anybody's video at any time whatsoever. YouTube is the one that has to answer for any ads uh, and any content out there. So they're the ones putting it out there. You, as the creator, get paid by YouTube unless you specifically have a deal with an advertiser, a sponsor. But even still, if I... You know, if you use Adblock, all that's doing is, you know, say uh, back in the day when you're using, um, oh, what was it? Yeah, the the different the recording services, and I apologize, it's been a long time now. But you had the recording services for your television, for cable and all that, and it would record your shows, and you would... Um, you could have it automatically edit out the commercials. That's the same thing. You're just, I mean, if you're watching TV and you have an ad, now granted it's much harder to do on streaming, but if you have a TV, you know, say linear TV, you're watching an ad and you change the channel during the ad, you're not stealing. It's free over the air. The content is free. On YouTube or any other streaming service, you know, uh, creator streaming, streaming service, you are providing the content for free unless it is behind a paywall. Now, if you have it behind a paywall, if you have it behind a subscription or a pay-per-view type of thing, and you skip that, that is theft. Advertisements are not theft. Using Adblock, sorry, using Adblock to prevent advertisements, that's not theft. That is simply saying, I don't give a crap about your sponsor. And it isn't even your sponsor, again, unless you have a private deal with one of those companies and you are doing it on your own. In which case, again... I can just skip over that. I don't need ad block. I can just go, oh, I see you have your ad from uh, 150 to 215. Bam, I'm jumping to 215. All done. But again, doing that's not theft. Using ad block is not theft. It is saying, I do not want to visit your sponsor. I don't even want to listen to your sponsor. 
you know, if you go to a, uh, a, a free concert, say, then you got the people handing out flyers for things. They're advertising. They're sponsoring the, the event. They paid or helped pay you, know, you as the, as or, you know, pay the bands or whatever it is, or pay the event. And, uh, I don't have to, I don't have to take their advertisement. I don't have to, I don't have to pay attention to their signs. So, you know, I don't have to listen to the fact that, uh, Ford GM or whomever else, uh, they don't sponsor me by the way, um, or anyone else sponsors this. I don't have to go buy their products. I don't have to care that they're, that they're paying for this event. That is what that is like. That is what using Adblock is like, is skipping the sponsor. That is it. There's none of this BS of, uh, you know, it's theft. It isn't. It isn't theft. Adblock is not theft. It is just skipping the sponsor. And most people in the world who use YouTube and whatever else don't use Adblocks. I do all the time because I freaking hate it. I encourage anybody else watching this. I'm not getting paid by YouTube. All my stuff is free. I plan on keeping it free as much as possible for everybody. You know, I don't plan on ever putting anything behind a paywall, at least not content wise. I don't know. Maybe if I ever get enough subscribers, it'd be awesome. But I hope to never have to put anything behind a paywall. I don't I don't I in fact have to. I don't think I'll ever put anything behind a paywall. If people want to give me money, I will gladly say thank you very much. I appreciate your support, but I do not want anybody having to pay to be a part of uh, any of the content that I'm providing, at least not on, on any sort of streaming service. Uh, if I come out with merchandise or something else, that's another thing again. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for listening, watching this long. Um, I will try and get this all back up again with the quantum leap stuff. I, I had a feeling that NBC was going to be like this. Uh, I had hoped that by completely having the audio track gone and having the video windowed, that it wouldn't be an issue. Um, they, they, I mean, as I was uploading it, it hit copyright claim and I wasn't even allowed to upload it. So um, I, I appealed it or I, I, you know, I disputed it rather. They said, nope, too bad. And rather than go for a, an attempted copyright strike, you know, I could have appealed it and, and seen, but you know what, it's just not worth it. Um, I don't need a copyright strike. I don't really, you know, again, I, I'm not being monetized. So for me, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But if I'm trying to grow my channel, if I'm trying to provide content for you guys, then that is not the best way to do this, at least not right now. You know, I don't have any power to fight anybody. I'm not anywhere near big enough to do this. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you all for watching. If you stayed the entire time, excellent. I thank you again. Please subscribe. I'm also on Rumble. Um, it's Taz on Rumble. Or is it Taz Jam? I apologize. Let me let me go over there. Let's take a look. What am I on here? See, I've only got the two on here. Um, I apologize again, everyone. I, I don't know Rumble well enough. Um, I'm starting to. I'm starting to upload my videos over here because they don't uh, have it on there. Um, but anyway, if you want, it's Taz or Taz Jam, whatever it is. Um, in the meantime, everybody, I wish you the best. I'll see you next time. Thanks again. Bye.